Hey guys, uh, we're in some pretty exciting times right now. Here we've got a dev form post uh, made two days ago, and it's going to go over dynamic heads and facial animations. So what is a dynamic head? Well, it's an avatar head type, and they support facial animations. So we'll, we'll be able to set a mood, which is a static face, trigger emotes, um, which have a face and body animation, and we can equip dynamic accessories, which I think look pretty slick because they actually look like they're part of the face itself. Um, and then we've got this demo right here. There's definitely some mixed opinions, especially on the, the right face, uh, the face on the right right here. Um, and it's understandable, I guess we're not ready quite yet as a platform to have some more realistic aspects to it. Um, that's understandable. Um, and so we've got our dynamic head tech preview. So it tells us about the face controls instance. So we're using the facial action coding system. And these are all the codes on the left. And I don't know about you, but I have no clue what a left dimpler is. So. These uh, descriptions on the right are super helpful, especially when we're like trying to make our own facial animations, which I'll go over briefly later. And we can also try animating the face right now, um, and that's in this example right here. But before I jump into those examples, I'm going to talk about this rollout plan. So right now we can try them in a test place, we can have example archetype asset IDs. Studio release is not complete. Um, I think the only thing we can do right now is create new facial animations. And in the future, uh, they would like to add dynamic heads to the avatar shop, um, real-time facial animations, and then dynamic head creation toolkit. So that's a lot to look forward to in the future. But for now, here's some documentation. Um, this uh, site right here is pretty helpful. It goes a lot more into detail um, on the details themselves, all uh, right? And they've got a few more demos, which are fun. And this right here is actually the face controls object. Um, again, this isn't released uh, to our games or experiences quite yet. But once it is released, I, I'm guessing this is what we'd use to kind of manipulate these uh, faces on the fly without them being animations, uh, of course, through script. And so... Yeah, these are, this is some great info, and then just some details on the components of a dynamic head. And these are the bones right here, and we'll see that when we're in the animation editor. So let's go first to the dynamic head customization example. It'll take you to this uh, repo right here. You're just gonna download this file. Once you're in it, uh, before anything else, uh, do make sure that you have uh, facial features enabled or like that beta feature. So go into beta features um, and go to make sure you have facial animation uh, checked. If you don't, uh, be sure to check it, hit save and then restart your studio. So once you're back, go ahead and press play. So in here we can uh, test out different faces. So you've got this normal and then this more realistic one. Uh, we can change the hairs and they stack and you can change their colors as well as you would on Roblox. Um, so it's cool how you, you can choose different colors uh, for the hairs themselves. And so uh, we've got different eyebrows. I can't really see them because of this big hair right here. There we go. Um, and then we can have different beards um, and facial features like that. Um, we can also add some hats and some glasses. And so on the right side right here, we can check out these different moods, which are like the static faces. And then we can check out these emotes, which have both um, faces facial animations and body animations. And then we've got different like regular animations here with just um, static faces. So moving on to the next place, this is where we can try out making facial animations. So you download that as well. Once you're in, if you press play, you'll see this, uh, this guy right here. He's gonna just like have different uh, emotions and stuff and that's cool but if you want to make your own animation go to animation editor make sure you have that rig selected and then once you've got it set up you can press v to show or hide these bones and then for example if we wanted to make him close his eyes uh, we'd press the, this plus button right here we go to eyes and we do left eye closed and so now that that's on the left side right here um let's say we wanted him to close his eyes at this fifth frame right here so at this fifth frame, we set V to be 100 for him to fully close his eyes like that. And then if we want it to close just partially, like 50, um, we'd set it to 50. And then of course we can combine different expressions like a left cheek razor here. And then 100%. So 
yeah, uh, definitely feel free to uh, mess around with that and then you can just export it uh, just as you would any other animation. Though do keep in mind, um, again, we can't use this in our own experiences quite yet, uh, but that should be in the, the near future, I hope. So I hope that was helpful. Please like, subscribe if I was able to help you out. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.